Hey, what's on guys? My name is Josh. I'm an independent creative and a landscape photographer. Um, now, I've been off YouTube for a little while because I've been just focusing on my photography recently. Uh, this summer I've just basically just spent the whole time getting out there taking landscape photos and also getting into new jobs that I didn't expect to be doing, uh, such as fashion uh, photography, which I found out I really enjoyed. Now, why I'm making a YouTube video today is just to particularly come up to one aspect of um, a question I get asked a lot of times, especially on my Instagram account, which just a shameless plug. If you want to go find me on Instagram, I'll pop it up here. I'll give you two seconds to go over and have a look and give me a follow, or at least have a, like my images and see what you like. Um, other than that, let's get back to the topic. Um, I've had the same question asked constantly on my Instagram account, and that is, uh, oh, what lens do you use? Um, oh, it must be a really good lens, or your camera system must be great. Um, and particularly that's not the case in some respects um, when I take my images. Um, I use my favourite lens and my most used landscape lens for my professional work is this 16mm pancake lens. Now this is considered by many die-hard photographers as the worst Sony lens other than the kit lens. This is an f2.8 lens but it's not sharp f2.8, it's wide angle, it's 24mm equivalent because it's a crop sensor camera on my Sony a6000 um, and this is really what was at one point considered a toy lens because you could get adapters for it but the reason why I carry this lens all the time and I haven't upgraded yet one, it's cheap, this is a bargain, you can find this for like £60 right now and that's a wide angle lens um, it's auto focus, it's incredibly small, Look at it. just look at it without the lens hood and I can pack this around and this is a wide angle lens and it's sharp f8 above which when I take landscape images I typically only use f8 to f16 after the f16 you start getting some diffraction and you don't really get a sharp image but the point is, is that I'm, I'm not choosing this lens because it's great f2.8 because I, I don't take wide angle low depth of field images, um, it f fits my purpose and if it fit my, fits my purpose and it reduces weight what's the point? The lens I'm shooting on right now to do this video is an 18 to, uh, 18 to 105 um, f4G master lens it's an incredibly heavy lens, it's great, it's nice and sharp but it, that's not the fact I now have to lug that lens around all the time um, it's great for video and it's great for an all-in-one solution but at the same time you're, you're sacrificing comfortability and if I'm not comfortable taking my photos I'm not going to take these great photos and the best lens I'm, I use for my street photography is um, this 28mm Olympus lens and I've ba I bang on all the time if you go onto my channel and you see some of my videos about Olympus lens I bang on all the time about these lenses why? because they're great, they're nice heavy built lenses so not in heavy in the weight, but they're heavy in the fact that I can't destroy this lens it will take a... And, they're really incredibly cheap as well and it's also, it's just an interesting lens because with a crop factor this now becomes like a 42mm I believe which is a standard focal length meaning I don't have to carry around a 35mm I don't have to carry around a dedicated 50mm this fits between both and it's just an interesting lens in general so the precedence of this is that don't go out and find the best gear and I know a lot of photographers on YouTube uh, bang on about this all the time just get used to the gear that you have right now, or if you are going to get better gear, find something that's going to be comfortable. Um, and the best way to do this is to rent out lenses or to try out other lenses. And it doesn't have to be expensive lenses. Find the focal length that you love. Like I found for my landscape for lenses, I love 24mm. It's, it's wide, but not too wide, and it's adaptable. And then for street, I find about 40mm will do. So just find the focal length and the lens that you're going to find more comfortable and you're going to literally look, find that lens that you can chuck on your camera and you can go outside and take photos instantly you don't have to worry about it so guys if you enjoyed this video please like and comment below and give my channel a subscribe and have a look at my instagram i'm going to plug this enough time because we're going to find most of my images and where you're going to find the links to everything else